Welcome back to Mythic Ocean. Turns out Amar does not make for the best assistant. Who would have thought? At least not the Amar that we know. In this timeline, maybe Amar would have performed differently had we uh, tried this in my previous save, my previous run. I guess maybe we'll find out at some point if I do the like Harmony version where everyone is the opposite polarity. Time will tell. As with so many other things here, there's still so many questions left to answer. And that's very fascinating about this game. So, before we load the backup and try the Twins version of this uh, lab work out in this timeline, let's just talk to Amar again, because there were some options I didn't test here, and I'm just curious about it. So, uh... I'm gonna just start by saying this one. Sorry about that, I didn't know much about Alethia's plans for you. No sweat, friend. It's not on you, but... There was something else on my mind. Okay. Yeah, so here's this thing. But then, if we load and first tell Amar, like, you could have done more, but then say, okay, yeah, it was Alethia's fault, it was management, then maybe I still get the change in like meter? Let's check that out. Were you really giving it your all? Not really. Fair enough. Sorry it didn't work out, Omar. No sweat, friend. It's not on you, but... There was... Okay, that just is neutral. Alright. Well, in that case, I would want to just say, yeah, sorry it didn't work out, Omar, and get Omar more in that leaning. But for now, let's leave it at that. I don't think I need to do much more, because the whole uh, Alethia teleporting is the same regardless of whether Ketranesti or Amar. Are the ones to see it. So let's continue testing this aspect of it. And I have, oh my god, look how clean it is. I just like deleted everything because I don't need them anymore. And I, I have them saved if I actually need them again. But yeah, we got this save that I just saved before last episode. And it's right here. And now we'll just force the, the twins into helping her. Uh, yeah, this one spaced out for a second. And then, okay, let's try it here too. You owe her some favors. Oh, so that's why you're here, huh? Makes sense. I should have guessed you were on Alethia's side the whole time. You don't care about what we want. You just want to make sure we do what she says. It's not like that. I'm not trying to take sides, but if you did promise her your help, you should follow through, right? Fine, a deal's a deal, I guess. We'll go see Alethi at the lab sometime soon. Yep, yeah, okay, they don't like that. Obviously. And then it's the same if I say, think of all the fun equipment, and then say, oh, shit. I can't, like, convince them more? Oh, no! So I have to do it this way if I want the twins to... Ah, why did Amar have a, another option? Is it because I've just, like, done the wrong thing with the twins in this timeline? Even though I, I want them to like me in this one, I feel like I honestly... Oh, right, yeah, I, I was thinking this before uh, last time. It's kind of a problem since I record these, like, so sporadically. I record them, like, once, two episodes now, and then, like, probably in another day or two, I'll record two more episodes, but then it's like a week before I record again. So, I was thinking before last time that I should just actually replay the entire game again and just reconfirm all my choices with the twins, because I feel like I kind of fucked up here and there. Maybe they could have liked me more at this point and still make all the like same major choices that I made. So, I don't know, I was thinking I might do that and hell, I might do it still, like, I'm gonna have to play through the game many times anyway, and I obviously wouldn't show that, so... I don't know, we'll see. But it's, uh, the longer I put it off, the more of an annoying task that's gonna be. So I should've done it before last time, but I just forgot, because it went so long before I was supposed to record again. But let's stick with this for now, and, uh, oh, I'm still skipping, and just check how it works out for uh, Alethia and Ketranesti. Also, why does it say... It says I can go here, but I can't. I'm pretty sure I can't. Yeah, 
Alethia just isn't here. So we have to do Lutra first. And now we get to test out the, like, all right, I'll talk to Alethia and we'll see what she says about that. So let's just ignore it. Ignore Alethia. I'm here. She's a friend of mine. I do. Not really. I'm sorry. You should talk to, to uh, Alethia. Maybe I should talk to the device using one instead. Agreement. Thankfulness. Yeah, should use carefulness. This one stays in pod until device using one gone. Hello. Alright, looks like I'm about ready to head back. Shall we meet again at the lab? Sounds good. Oh, you can... I can just, like, say, yep, that's fine. You didn't do anything wrong. Okay, um... Hmm. Let's start off by saying this one, I guess, because I might actually want to go with this as my real choice. Can you tell me what happened between you and Lutra? Lutra? Oh, the little larva, yes. I took a scan of it, just as I did with you when we first met. Did you have any questions about that? No, I was just curious what happened. Are you aware how much you scared Lutra? It told me it was terrified. Terrified? Wait a moment. It told you that? The larva can talk? That's astonishing. I never would have guessed. That's not the point. What you did to Lutra was very hurtful. Make sure it doesn't happen again. Yes, it's amazing, but the problem is that you scared Lutra badly. You should have asked first. Uh, I want to test out like all of these, so let's start with this one. Yes, it was a regretful accident. Scanning life forms, including animals, is standard procedure for me in new places. If they appear capable of speech, I always ask for their permission. In this case, I had no indication the larva could communicate. I'm surprised it was so upset, though. The scanning process should be completely painless. I think Luther was frightened because it couldn't move and didn't understand what was happening. Hmm, I suppose that makes sense. I'm sorry this happened, my friend. Perhaps I could develop a quick scanning device? Until then, I will exercise more care. But that's not what we want Alethea to do in this timeline. And then she leaves. And... Now it's like, I just talk to her? Yeah, exactly. So that's that's actually good. That's what I want. So, let's just say, sounds good. All right, I'm off then. See you shortly. And that just changes. And if I go and talk to Lutra again, familiar ones speak thoughts together again. And nothing. I can't even tell Lutra like, what happened with Alethia. Huh. Uh... I can, I can teleport here, because I, I can just load. I'm going to have to, like, redo a couple things, like convincing uh, Ketchernesti, but I just want to check if she men mentions Lutra. Sample from Moss Cavern. Yeah. Yes, please. Lutra's pod. Because, like, now she doesn't even know that Lutra is sentient. Is that never going to change? That's kind of an interesting thing, then. If Lutra starts eating the kelp forest and you're like, ask Alethia for help, she still won't know that Lutra is, like, an actual fucking person, sort of. Uh, should I even read this? I don't know if this is different. The pod created the ferns. I'm pretty sure I've read this. Yeah, they're extraterrestrial, or, well, from outer space. I figured that might be the case. Oh, sounds like I thought she would, like, be like, yeah, right, you didn't know that. Sounds like your instincts were correct then. But that's just the beginning. Wait until you hear what I discovered about Lutra itself. Shall I explain? It can talk? Yep. Lutra seems capable of telepathic communication, much to my surprise. Yeah, I knew that. Oh, you did? Yep, Lutra and I have spoken a lot. It always talks in your head. Well, that confirms my theory. She's not, like, upset that I didn't tell her that? There's more to the story than just that, however. The data I gathered suggests that parts of Lutra's brain that grant... The, the parts of Lutra's brain that grant, grant it this power are... Underdeveloped. Jesus, I don't know why that sentence is so hard for me. They're likely to grow. Uh, that's a little scary. Aha, I suppose it is. I think I said that, actually. They're thrilling discoveries. 
It's a doozy. Oh yeah, here we have this thing that I talked about. Thorax, antenna, uh... What was this one again? Den Dendrite, I think? Gills, mandibles, uh... What was this one again? It was like... Oculi or something? O Oculi? Maybe? Like OC? Maybe a... A U or something? And then LLI. I, I can't remember. It's some word for I. And then, uh, abdomen, I think, was here. This one was spines, I want to say. And this one is, uh, Euro legs, I think it was. Some, some weird thing, which is actually, like, a, a word you can look up. I don't know. I can't remember exactly, but it's fun that you can, like, read these. Lutra's gonna transform. Yeah, shifting and changing. My guests are well informed. Okay, so that's that. Let me load and try this again. And we'll bully the twins for a little bit first. Yeah, there's nothing else I can do. It's kind of unfortunate. Yeah, I really wish you could, like, speed up the skipping even more. It's not fast enough. I wish you could just, like, instant skip everything. And skip, like, animations and stuff that you have to, like, wait for. Okay, and then tell her, but then I'll do it. And then now we'll, like, really give it to Alethia. Tell me what happened. No, I was just curious what happened. Alright, I'm off then. See you. Are you aware how much you scared Lutra? And yeah, I said this one. That's not the point. What you did to Lutra was very hurtful. Make sure it doesn't happen again. My word, you say that as though I did it on purpose. Scanning life forms, including animals, is standard procedure for me in new places. Yeah, I had no indication. Okay, so I don't actually want to tell her that, because I want her to just be, like, business, nothing else. So, yeah, let's let's do this for now, and we'll actually just do, uh... I guess I'll say this one first, and then just... I was just curious. Bye! And Lutra is none the wiser. Yeah. And now, let's go to Alethia. And talk about the lab work. How'd the lab work go? Not so well, I'm afraid. Let me explain. Yep, last time with Keternesti, it actually did go well. The first task was to compare the samples, blah blah blah. And yep, note any differences. I think that might have been different than Amar. Maybe not. I explained all this to Keternesti, and they seemed to understand. I went back to my own work, and things seemed fine for a while. But then I noticed the twins were getting a bit... distracted. Instead of finishing their task, they were tampering with equipment they did not have my permission to use. I asked them to stop, and at first they listened, but before long they were right back at it. When I caught them toying with the burners and ionizers, which can be very dangerous, I had to tell them to leave, as they were becoming a risk to themselves and the lab. Oh my god. I ended up doing the rest of the work myself. It was a bit of a disaster, all told. Yep, this this is kind of what I want to do, but we have to go back and check in with the, the twins and make make them like me a little bit more and agree with them like, oh, she's fucking terrible and so annoying. I'm really sorry, that's not what I was expecting. Oh, and thank you for speaking with Ketcher Nesty. If you want a job well done well, nothing beats doing it yourself. Yep, there we go. And... I mean, I think I might just stick with this and move on, so I guess I'll continue and do this one as well. And then... Yes, please? That makes sense. And then I'm gonna say... I never considered that! Amazing, isn't it? But if you think that's crazy... Please go on. I knew that. Lutra and I have spoken. 
Oh, I wonder, does that change? Hmm, I can't remember, but I, I guess it's fine. I'll, I'll ignore it for now. That's exciting! I agree! I'm excited to see what happens with this strange creature. Finally, here's the last tidbit. Your guess is as good as mine. Yeah, there we go. And we'll go back to, uh, what is with Amar? What fable is that? Huh, and new creatures in Moss Cavern. But maybe just me talking- oh... Okay. Here we go. I was gonna say, maybe me talking to, uh, Lutra, or talking to Alethia in Lutra's place was enough to make Lutra not go outside. But nope, that's not happening. Let's leave this for one second. I'll definitely want to make another backup before I go on with that whole feeding frenzy fable. So let's just talk to, uh, the twins. How did it go? Well, it was kind of lame. Alethia had us doing a thing where we had to look at so many slides on the microscope. It was a huge pain. We wanted to take a break and try out some other stuff. Yeah, like the burners. But Alethia didn't want us having any fun, I guess. So she told us we had to leave. Sorry it wasn't any fun. I didn't know much about Alethia's plans for you two. You two need to be more careful. So let's save this one first, because that's going to make them like me. That's okay, new friend. We don't blame you, but we wanted to tell you about one other thing. Yeah, exactly. You two need to be more careful. You could have gotten hurt or damaged something in the lab. I am I can see the red swirls or red thing right now. Oh, no. We weren't trying to break anything. We just couldn't take it anymore. It was so, so boring. I thought we deserved to have some fun after all the hard work we did. It would have been fine if Alethia just let us play with something interesting. But it's up to Alethia what you're allowed to do in her lab, right? You have to follow her rules when you're there. I see, sorry it didn't work out. So this one is gonna be neutral again, right? That's okay, new friend. Yeah, exactly. And then the last one is gonna make them dislike me. We play by our, by our own rules, new friend, not anyone else's. Alethia wouldn't listen to us, so we did what we felt like doing. Plus, she does some weird stuff before. She's done some weird stuff before, so we don't even trust her anyway. This is news to me, what do you mean? You know how Alethia wanted us to help because she did some favors before. Yeah, okay. So, let's stick with this one and just side with the, the twins, because I need more... More, uh, friendship with the twins. We don't blame you. I guess let's talk to them as well. Lutra, and we still can't talk about, uh, Alethia with anyone, which is sad. And that was the same there. Namar, kind of weird. So, nothing's changed there. Not really much. And then we have Lutra here. Well, I mean, we don't have Lutra here, but we have other things, new creatures. And I guess everything is going to be... Oh. Wait. Are the stars gone? Yeah. Okay, even though it looked like... They're still, like, over here, so Lutra hasn't, like, eaten everything, but maybe, uh, maybe this is the same. I can't remember. Yeah, find someone that can help you. Someone is dead here. This is what we want. And Lutro is a big scary thing. And the last one. I don't think I can like save this guy. Oh, there's two more. 
Huh. Yeah, the mushroom. Don't be afraid of dark places. Yeah, here's this little fish guy. Is it like a, an anchovy or a herring or something? I'm not sure. No matter where I go, I always feel so exposed. I have to go. See you around. Yeah, there's like no other choice, so... Sorry. Uh, actually, never mind. Yeah, you can't like not have this happen. At least in this, this uh, timeline. The consume timeline. All's well that ends well. Yep, there we go. So let's go back to Alethia. Uh... Oh, this is just like Alethia's thing herself, right? Did you find any connection? I guess we'll do this one as well, and then we'll probably leave it off there and do the whole uh, feeding frenzy next time, because yeah, there's going to be a lot of saving and loading there too. I'm going to make some backups and we'll have to test out many different things, I think. As a matter of fact, yes! Uh, hmm. Does she like if I ask this? I thought you might ask and I can't blame you. Yeah. We're trapped. I'm pretty sure this is all the same. Think about that kelp forest. They, they're exactly the same as they've always been. So that's why you need the en energy source. I could modify it to teleport there. Uh, that sounds really dangerous. I suppose it's a bit risky. Now let's think about it. Okay, so let's load and say the other thing just to see if anything happens. New pages in Coral Reef. So what's your next step? Good question. But in order to give you an answer, I need to explain a few things. I'm so driven in my research. Our world doesn't change. Sounds good, I'm in. Splendid, I'm so glad to hear it. I'll modify your teleporter right away, it'll only take a moment. Yeah, examine the readings. And, I mean, if I go to Gnosis now, I'm gonna be in the breach. And I don't really want to do that now, do I? I mean, I, I guess? I guess we can finish that up. Oh, yeah, there. Uh, okay, let's... Let's not do that. Let's just talk to Elil for now. See what Elil is talking about. It's probably the uh, the lab work and all that. That fable. How goes it? Alethea is starting to figure out how this all works. Got any thoughts on that? Yeah, that happens every time. She won't actually get there. Are you sure there's no chance she could find out? I've never seen it happen. That's an eerie thought. And that's it. Let's just... Do the other one. Wow, that's pretty tragic. You think so? Remember, buddy, all this stuff just keeps happening over and over. Just like you, the gods will forget everything next time, and it'll all be back to square one. So Alethia's never-ending search for answer isn't as agonizing as it sounds, because she really believes she can do it. Every time. Isn't that still tragic from our perspective, though? Well, not to me, not really. But right now, my, my perspective's pretty different from yours. For me, all this stuff going on in the ocean is just one phase of the process. You might see things a little differently once the new world gets underway. Yeah, okay, that's interesting. But that kind of confirms that they don't get their memories back. I was, like, considering that, that for a moment, where they don't have their memories while in this phase, but then once it's done, maybe they would be like, Oh shit, that's what we were doing. Like, now I remember everything. We were, like, choosing the next god, and if so, then it would be, like, incredibly frustrating for Alethia, I suppose, just, like, knowing that she's gonna go back to making the research, the same research and the same, like, lack of progress every single time. But I guess it confirms that they don't, they don't necessarily remember what happened in each cycle. They just, like, know, oh shit, that's how it worked at the end, basically. As far as I understand, anyway. 
and uh, I guess we can ask Lutra or Ket Keternesti. Amar likes you quite a bit. I'm one of their favorites. The twins like me just fine. Wait, what did they? What did you say? There's room for improvement. And Lutra likes you quite a bit. And Alethia likes you quite a bit. You managed to tear her away from her work long enough to become pretty good friends. Nice work, buddy. Amar is just having fun. And they're prickly. A lot of food. And Alethia is probably the same as we've read before. Very dedicated. That's putting it lightly. She's not thinking... I wonder if she really... She's really thinking about the long-term effects. There's such a thing as taking your work too far. Yep. All right. That's... Whoops. That's all the same. Stop it. No. Leave me alone. All right. See you around. So yeah. I'm gonna leave it off here. I'll make a backup here. We have noses to find. I, I guess I'll find the coral reef pages as well. You don't need to see that. I'm just gonna go do that now before I make a backup. And then we'll probably dip into the whole feeding frenzy stuff next time. I'm more curious about that than Gnosis and Alethia. We'll deal with that later on. So, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Next one, I feel, is gonna be quite an interesting one. So, I'll see you then. Bye-bye!